Ladies and gentlemen, today we're fishing the lower south fork of the snake with guy Jim Hickey from World Cast Anglers. How you doing, Jim? Doing great. Thanks. How are you? Not too bad. Jim, what, what can we expect to catch on this river here we're today? We're going to catch mostly brown trout, but also some rainbows and some cutthroat. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to this. Thank you very much. So am I. Let's go. Let's go. So today we're fishing. You want me to pull my mask down? No. Okay. That's today cool. we're fishing the south fork of the snake just upstream of Idaho Falls, Idaho. Uh, the float we're doing is from Heisey to Lorenzo. So this is the bottom end of what we typically fish on this river or guide on this river. Mostly brown trout and some cutthroat and some rainbows, but by and large a brown trout fishery. What we're setting up for is this little drop off coming up in about six or seven feet. Good drift, hang with it. Good, good. Should happen right in here. Yep, oh, it's a good brownie. Yep. Cuddy, jeez, you're amazing with those eyes. Beautiful. That's kind of our, that's our average cutthroat right there. Wow. 14 to 16 incher. Boy, they really pull hard. Yeah, they do. They're great fighters. I mean, you look at this rod bend. Yeah. Just amazing, the fight on these guys. Yeah, it didn't take you long when you got in that spot to get a hit. Did no, it? no, it's like a first. Cats, two hits. Yeah, that's a good spot. Well, should I bring them your way? There you are. Okay. Yeah, I think it's bigger than 15. It may be. It may be yeah, it's 16, 17. We'll net him and see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> All right, yeah. Man, what a great job of catching that fish I did. You did. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Thank you very much. Job, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, probably what? I, I threw the first cast in there and I got a hit and I missed it and then went right back and, and exactly. there it was again. Another beautiful fish. It makes me feel better because I. I missed a couple monsters that just came right out of the weeds. So that, that really did help. Redemption. Yeah, a little redemption is always good. Always good. On this river, we try and use barbless hooks exclusively. So instead of tying to the hook shank where the tippet can easily slide off of the hook point, I use uh, a knot to the hook eye itself. And then that's how I connect my dropper fly. So I have a good secure connection. It was Steve's turn at the bow, and he would soon oh, hook up. Big. Oh, jeez. Oh, another huge jump. Oh, my gosh, that was fun. <laughs> Unbelievable jump. It's like a tarpon. Oh, oh another one just yeah. Jim released the feisty rainbow back wow. into the river. Glad to be on the river with you today. My pleasure. Uh, we're, I know you're a, a guide with World Cast Anglers, and how long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been a guide now for about 15 years, Okay. and I've spent about eight of it with World Cast. Great, and uh, they're in, again, several locations, I think? Yeah, exactly. We have a, a store in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, okay. uh, and then in Victor, Idaho, Driggs, Idaho, and then Island Park, Idaho as well. How, how would a person find out about getting a trip? Sure. The best way is probably uh, give us a call or visit our website at uh, worldcastanglers.com and okay. then that'll direct you to where you need to go to make a reservation. And the guides and the staff are all real knowledgeable about prime conditions, when the fishing's the best. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. Glad right. to have you. Great. We cruise to the railroad bridge, a known landmark of the lower south fork of the snake. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, wow. Good job. Coming right at you. Not as big as the last one, but it's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Starting to work, boys. Yep, it's heating up. Pretty big fish. Yeah, I mean he's not a he's not a little guy. No, no question. No, no. I don't know if he's 23, 24, but he's nice pretty fish. good fish. 
I haven't even seen him yet, so I'm always hesitant. Oh, holy smokes! It's a big, huge fish. Holy smokes! Is it a cutty? Yeah, I think it's a brown. It's a big fish. It may be a cutty, but it's a big one. All right, bring him in a little bit more. All right. Got it. Oh, almost. Oh yeah. That was so close. Shot right out of there. Little spurt. Yep. I think that's a cut. It is no. a big cut. No, you think so? Yeah. Think. Big cut throat. Beautiful wow. specimen. It's so, a big cut. That is a really big, that's probably the biggest cut throat I've ever caught right there. Take your time now. <laughs> oh, Brilliant. wow. Got it. Yeah! Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> Again! <laughs> Steve caught a great specimen, a 18 plus inch. Yellowstone cutthroat trout, and that's really the poster child, the poster trout for the South Fork of the Snake River. Now just, you know, FYI, this is the fish for this river. Wow. I mean, that's the fish that they're trying desperately to protect. So that is a gorgeous yeah. specimen. Well, that's, that's a two-hand fish right nice. there. That's over 18. <laughs> Beautiful. Very nice. Good work, Again. buddy. <laughs> Yes. Wow, yeah, I think that'll go three pounds maybe. Yeah. That yes. nice. Unbelievable. That was sweet. And then we've got a turkey bacon Swiss, roast beef, tarragon chicken salad. Okay. Very nice. Jim, thank you. This yeah. is like gourmet. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice morning. Yeah, That's I don't think beautiful. I don't think there's any place I'd rather be right now. Nope. Except for with my wife. <laughs> is that our net? <laughs> this yes. is it. Yep. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. up a tea. Yeah. Yeah. We're on the the lower section of the South Fork, and then there's there's this is the fourth. There's three others above us. We have an overnight camp between sections two and three. So the first day is about a 12 mile float into camp. It's accessed only by boat. So the camp cooks there. The tents are set up. The hors d'oeuvres are hot, the drinks are cold, float into camp after your hard day of fishing, eat dinner, drinks, spend the night, and float out the next day with your guide, just literally steps away from your boat, back in, another 14 mile epic day of fishing to the takeout. Ah, so sounds, that's a special trip. Sounds like a great plan. Oh, that was great. You guys get Thank you very much. Oh, I had more than I should have. Anybody want, I didn't fight ah. Off of it. I can't. I can't. That was great. Thank you. The South Fork of the Snake cuts its way 66 miles through high mountain valleys and rugged canyons to its confluence with the Henry's Fork and is guarded by the majestic peaks of the Grand Tetons. If you look right out here where the green water runs and then another brown hump we want to fish that hump of rocks and then we'll start working our way right up along that green trough on the edge of the gravel bar and we'll definitely get some fish in there. Jim was right of course. There it is. It's a good fish too. It's a big one. Decided to hit this riffle and I made a quick cast out there. Holy smokes it's a bow. Big bow. Big bow. And the indicator went downstream and boom, it was a beautiful rainbow trout. Wow, that was so cool. Got it. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yep. Let's release them. Wow. I don't think I've seen a more beautiful rainbow. They're very nice. Probably. <laughs> that happens all the time. Man, that was so cool. Yeah, because you yeah. went down that first time. Yeah. You saw it and you saw, oh, that was a fish. And then you went right back in and almost the same spot. Whack. Yeah, yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, it feels like I do have another fish on. I do. I caught a fish when I was talking. <laughs> it's a white fish, but that's cool. I don't care. <laughs> yes, it does. I felt something yanking on my line when I was talking I to you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, that's cool. 
Is this still used, this bridge? No, this one's not. The one right where we'll take out is. Oh. Not. Okay. As we headed down river, Jim shared with us about pale morning duns. Tying his wings oh, now. I see. That's see, he's got his wings slightly spread. And golden stonefly nymphs. He gave Steve some valuable pointers on streamer fishing. So once I feel a bite. Yep, you, so you'll be stripping along. When you feel the fish hit, strip striking, pull the fly into the fish's mouth. And then when you feel him go thump, thump, then lift the rod tip. All right. And taught me the subtleties of setting the hook. There you go. Yep. Let him run. Let him okay. Run. One thing Jim taught me was to be a little bit more subtle in the hook set. I have a tendency to hork up the rod. And you know what? I think I mastered that pretty dang well. <laughs> that was not indecision, but maybe a little too hard a hook set. <laughs> a white fish. Oh boy, sure. <laughs> I tried to keep the camera. Oh, yeah. Laugh all you want, but for a small fish, that thing could jump. Okay, perfect. Yep. Right there. Oh, jeez. That was my fly. They went after. Oh, I saw a fish chase it. Oh yeah, it's oh shoot. Oh, I had it hooked too. One thing that really impressed me today was Jim's ability to spot fish. He could see fish 20 feet away underneath the water, and sure enough, that's where he put her fly, boom, fish on. It's been a lot of fun and, and very interesting to fish with Steve and Ladden today uh, and see how the river's changed. The river changes literally week to week, month to month out here. Some channels that we normally fish are completely dry, and there's some new channels that are fishing well. It, it's been fun to see. Well, I love to drift around rivers, but with Jim as the guide today, he felt so comfortable and it was cool to watch him use those oars, just total master of the river. It was awesome. Yeah. I'll take a boat under, no question. So that would suck a drift boat right up Straight under the to water. the bottom. Wow. Okay, now come back over on the Jim instructs Steve to cast toward a gravel bar. Oh, oh nice. That's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, gosh. Yeah, before the bobber. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Take your time. Move him left if you can. Okay. Slightly, though. Not a severe angle. Okay. Let him run mostly. That's a beautiful big rainbow. That's a big boy. Nice. Good job. Yeah. In the A slot. That is your alpha fish. Yeah. Of about four minutes fish on. jumped right there. First, I thought I had a pretty good sized rainbow. Your water, but again, not Whoa, that's a brownie. Big brown. big wow, brown. did you see that thing? I did. <laughs> time with him. Oh my gosh, that was brown. sweet. But that fish came up out of the water right at me, jumped, and you could tell it's a huge brown trout. What a jump. That was Incredible. Gotta get this thing. Jeez. Take your time. No hurry. Like zero. Oh, oh wow. Unbelievable. That's close. To, that's, cl that's getting up towards two feet right there. Jeez. What's a brown doing? Jumping. I was really surprised to see a brown trout that size jump. And not only once, but twice way out of the water. That was really cool out of fly line, so we'll try okay. and land him at that distance, but maybe not right now, depending on what he's got in mind. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish. Yeah, a little early yet. Yeah. Easy back, to the left, just a little. With Jim's coaching, Steve patiently wore down the fish. Yeah. But I'm gonna need you to Yep, bring it to you. Up. Yep. And I'm not gonna go stabbing around at him like a rookie. So if he's not ready, I'm just gonna let it go like that. I'm just gonna let it go. Swing him back up slightly to your left. You can get him ahead of me before you okay. come in close. Got oh. Nice. My. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. Nice fish. So Sweet. <laughs>
Steve displayed the Big Brown before its release. Wow, that's a gorgeous brown. That thing is close to two feet long. Wow. I mean, that is 20 something. <laughs> oh, Ooh, solid work, nice, fire. nice. Oh. Thank you. You told me right, the perfect spot. Man. Oh, that Jim, was great. Awesome. Ah, nice awesome. brown, Worth nice brown. Awesome. Okay. I, I've caught a brown close to that big, but not jump. Uh, that was that was amazing. Yeah, three times. Three good jumps. Yeah. When he ate it, he hit halfway yep. through and then really close. Yeah, it was coming right. You know, yeah. I hope the camera picked that up. That was awesome. That was cool. Awesome. Wait. Right on. As we neared the pullout, we were already reflecting on the great day we had. The fish we caught. The triumphs. And the guide who showed us the way. Well folks, we had a great day here on the lower south fork of the Snake River. Special thanks to Jim Hickey from World Cast Anglers. My pleasure. Outstanding day, outstanding fish. That thanks. was awesome. Yeah, Thank good you. Good job. Good deal. Glad you guys enjoyed it. We'll oh, do it again. Yeah, right. absolutely. Cool. Definitely. We're in. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot. If you'd like to fish with World Cast Anglers, check out their website at www.worldcastanglers.com.